We have one last story, which is going to be ApeCoin staying around $4. Uh, a lot of it having to do with a lot of the releases from the other side. So we're going to watch this other side release trailer. The first in-game footage that we've actually seen uh, of any substance uh, was Wait, released. We're, so we're, gonna we're watch waiting this. till the very end for this. I feel like we should lead off the show yeah. with this. Uh, welcome to the Yuga Labs channel. Uh, we <laughs> only talk about Yuga Labs, ApeCoin, and why... We're not poor, I guess. I don't know. What? So, oh, wait, there's a little bit left. Hold on. Give me, give me just one second. I didn't see this. Oh, that's the, that's the resources at the end, right? Or is that like a portal or whatever? That's what we have to talk about here. I'd be, yo, I'd be stoked if I was the owner of other dude 9353 or whatever that was getting to see my fucking plot like featured in a high, you know. I think that's owned high... by Yuga. That one's owned by Yuga. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But like, it's fucking cool. And like, <laughs> I just want to compare and contrast this. If we could super cut this with the, <laughs> with the Don't Frank to God's huge video <laughs> and then like biggie i think were you the one saying like you know they're gonna come over to ethereum so they can compete with board apes and shit it's like yeah. bro if 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 that's what your competition looks like man honestly i think you know what i think i think they're gonna get memed to fucking death like there's gonna be just a ton of like you know uh repurposed fucking d god projects like being launched when they bridge over to ETH. Don't quote me on it, but I, I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be funny. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull up know. a little bit more information here uh, with with the Bored Ape stuff. So uh, Yuga Labs, again, other side is being released. We got the Trial of Jimmy. That was that first trailer on the 21st. Uh, we got a little bit more information here on the 28th. Although not a ton, but we did get that information about the Mint. So a preparation for Mint happening on the 11th and multi-week interactive mint happening on the 18th, mint reveal on the 8th, and then the story continuing. I don't think we got a time frame for the actual, uh, another a playable other side trip. So I don't think we got a second trip, although I might be wrong. I need to look into that. But, you know, the, all that being released is leading, I think, to, you know, a point holding its price. We were kind of speculating, hey, staking going live, it's going to all go to five cents. It's all going to go to fucking zero because they're supplying additional uh, liquidity. I think, again, what is happening here, all of these announcements are, you know, driving some interest. But what you're also seeing is probably people just restaking. That's, that, that, that's what's happening right now. People are just, the rewards are getting just restaking. I think that's a lot of it, but I think also, you know, beginning of the year, maybe people got some money over Christmas and they're saying like, what's the thing that I'm actually excited about? And I think, you know, whether they're restaking or they're just buying more, I've, I've talked to several people now. I think Marty McFly was one of them. Uh, you know, Jess was considering it. I've talked to several people now who were not initially involved, uh, involved who are now saying like, shit, it's working. Maybe I should buy some ape and just stake the ape because there's a fucking liquidity pool just for ape coin. You don't even need the NFTs. You don't need a board ape. So I think that's part of it. I think more people are catching on to the fact that this is this seems to be success. It seems like it's working. And so people are saying, shit, I can be making a little bit of extra ape coin staking. I think that's part of it too. Are we are we playing the 10 KTF one? 
Oh, uh, we can. We can definitely. I love the crossover between projects. I know 10KTF was already bought, but I love when like different projects have story overlap. That think, is fucking amazing. As far as like, since we're talking about all these new announcements and what we feel like is driving the interest in, in the ape coin, but like also the contrast of the quality next to the the gods video. <laughs> this guy's oh, not going to let go. <laughs> I just, I want that Dude. contrast. Dude. I, all right, so second trip coming in late March. I will pull up that 10K TF video as well. I thought that was really well done. Uh, Wagney-san always getting after it there. Uh, and the crossover there between 10K TF and, and the other side uh, going to be also amazing. Uh, Biggie, you got any thoughts here? I know, again, folks, we, we, I mean, we lost like a certain amount of viewers right when we started talking about Board Ape. I, want, I, I like Board Ape. I like talking about Board Ape, okay? Like, we're going to talk about some of this stuff, but I understand that we're also not trying to overburden everybody with. That's why we held it and you to the end. That's why we held it to the end of the episode. I get what, it. I what get do we think, now. Biggie? What do we think about the trailer release? Dude, I love seeing it. I mean, honestly, what it's been able to accomplish uh, since its launch is, is really a feat to behold, right? And so, I mean, like, again, and I love, I, I honestly love watching you guys, my, my two co-hosts, win, you know, being early in this space. I, I, I own zero Yuga assets, and I'm fine with that. I'm, I, I just like cheering on a project that's doing really cool stuff and representing the space well. And so, I mean, I think this looks really interesting really cool I, I can't wait to see you you know how, how it all plays out and see what you guys what moves you guys decide to make uh within that space i think like you're a land holder right q like uh am i invited to to the q other side of household it's gonna be fun uh I, i'm really looking forward to it it's it's the way it should be right yeah um, absolutely other than that Let's let's watch the Wagme United trailer and come back. Or not Wagme United. Yeah, Wagme <laughs> Sun trailer. Sorry, I'm, I've got PTSD. Here we go. Not the Wagme. <laughs> I mean, that's what you want to see, right? It's it's really good quality. I mean, the storytelling, the cinematic, you know, uh, facts. I don't know, man. I was I was in an ApeCoin DAO twitter spaces it's it amazes me because we you know people all want to get like talk about apecoin dow and all that stuff and then i'm in the twitter spaces just like randomly join i don't go to these things every week there's like 40 people in there you know and i think it was like a smaller kind of meeting maybe not the primary apecoin dow uh twitter spaces but it's amazing to me how many people are actually involved in these dow things and how many people are just kind of you know talking about them but there was a proposal that the guy was talking about of 200k a month, or maybe in a 200k a year, which ApeCoin DAO is a shit ton of money, obviously from the treasury being an ApeCoin. But uh, talking about animations, how like the space doesn't have a lot of animations. So the proposal was 200k a year. Let's put out a ton of animations weekly, and that would get drive a lot of interest. <laughs> I mean, so much of this is about the IP and the storytelling and how many of them can actually create these super high quality 
you know, again, hot Hollywood grade is, you know, duddy deeds over here called it that quality of content. It's just, there's nobody else out there creating this kind of stuff. Um, so the fact that they understand that there's a lot of value in building the brand, continuing to expand the world and tell the stories in, in this sort of super high quality cinematic way is cool. Um, I don't know, you know, how long it's going to stick to these like sort of like short one, two minute videos or if they can expand it into something bigger. I assume at some point they will, but it's, it's cool even just seeing, you know, NFTs and NFT culture being represented in, in such a, in this kind of way. And I do think it gives you at least a window into what it can look like. Maybe it'll be a year, maybe it'll be a couple of years, but eventually Yuga, maybe, you know, Doodles or like a couple of these others that, that have the, the community, have the financing. I think you will see like high quality TV shows, high quality Hollywood movies, Netflix series is being developed um, around these IP. And I think it's, it's cool to start to imagine like, oh shit, my NFTs or, you know, my project has a fucking, NF, you know, a Netflix series that actually looks legit. Clock punch the movie, man. Tell me you don't want to watch that. That might be with a not suitable I might. I Jackass to yeah. fucking shame. <laughs> a couple details here in the Yuga Labs news site about the second trip uh, and about everything that's going on. Customizable avatars will not be ready for the second trip, but there's a fun solution for those who want to enter with an NFT. Stay tuned for details. Also, there's going to be flying, so a little bit m- looks like we'll be able to experience the other side a little bit more. Uh, other side is a harsh place. It turns out we're not alone traversing the desert of a bone deed. Curtis blue and Voyager discover a glowing pulsing stone. So that's the stone you were mentioning gif beginning in Q1 of 2023 and continuing throughout the year. A series of activations will be coming online, introducing users to some of the other inhabitants of the other side. This is an important milestone in the Voyager's journey. There will be ways to follow and play along. Some of these experiences will occur inside other side, others on interactive site-based experiences designed to help you build up your arsenal of entitlements before the other side launches broadly. Uh, this goes back to the, what we were talking about earlier with that trailer release. I think a lot of this mint upcoming is not going to be other characters. My guess, it's going to be items. It's going to be item-based uh, for your, your apes in the other side or for your characters in the other side. So that's my big kind of prediction here. As the other side gets set to launch, we're going to see a lot more items uh, that are eventually going to be traded on a Yuga Labs marketplace. Uh, so that, that just kind of builds out their, their world. Uh, we all know about the avatars and items uh, narrative that we've been preaching for gaming for a while. Hey guys, it's Nifty Q. If you enjoyed that clip, you can catch me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on NFT Live with other respected leaders in the industry giving you their take on what's happening in NFTs and Web3. Links to the show are in the description. Hope to see you there.